Hello, my name is Michelle Armstrong and I'm a Customer Service Manager at Capita Sims. Today we're going to be looking at Discover and how we can identify our key groups, providing visual information and identifying where closing the gap. Also, how that information can be shared with teachers, senior leaders and governors. Let's take a look. So firstly, we can identify our groups utilising the default graphs within Sims Discover. So today we're going to be looking at the student totals by key pastoral factors and here I can quickly identify who my pupil premium students are and this information is being pulled through from our SIMS data. I can click on the eye and that will provide me with the list of the students behind the graph. It may also be useful to understand the spread of my pupil and premium students across the school. So by merging my year group information and my pupil premium information I can see that I've got 52 students in Year 7 who are also Pupil Premium. So now I've identified my students, I want to be able to keep track of this group. So let's create a new Discover group. Drag the information over into your group, save, and I'm going to save this as a Discover group. That's a fixed point in time, the data won't change. That will allow me to benchmark, allow me to identify these specific students at any time and the impact of any interventions. So now we've identified and we can track our group, there's a range of other factors that will have an impact on attainment, such as attendance, lates, SEN, behaviour and achievement. But today we're going to focus on attainment. So the focus for pupil premium funding is closing the gap to accelerate disadvantaged pupils' attainment. So let's have a look at what my data is showing me. So in this graph we're looking at my year sevens and those who achieved above a level four. We can identify here 29.3 percent and I can change that to numbers, so 51 of my students achieved a level four or above in two subjects but not in maths. So let's identify who they are. And if I merge that information with my pupil premium, then I can see that I've got a high percentage of those students who are not achieving in math. So that might help me identify how I'm going to spend my pupil premium funding moving forward. So by pulling through the assessment data and incorporating my pupil premium student data, I can quickly identify how they're performing against the rest of the cohort. And you can see in my example, I've got a high number of students who are not achieving as well as their peers. So I can use the new copy functionality that allows me to paste this graph into Word, enabling me to share this information easily with governors, providing clear graphical anonymized information. Within the save functionality, I can also share this information across the school with all of the other staff who have access to Discover. So I hope you found that video useful. Please do visit our website for more information. And for those customers who have an enhanced support agreement, do contact your customer service manager and they'll be happy to visit your school and talk to you more about Sims Discover.